What is going on you guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna create another transition using nothing but Luma Fusion. And the transition we're gonna create is another spin transition, which is gonna be extremely easy to make and it's gonna look awesome. So without further ado, let's head over to the iPad. But first, if this is the first time that you are here checking out my channel, really nice to see you and welcome. Would be awesome if you hit that subscribe button down below and also the like for the algorithm, that would be highly appreciated. So with that said, Let's head over to the iPad. Now moving over to LumaFusion, we're gonna create this transition, this spin transition using two cuts of 10 frames each. So we have two clips here on the timeline and we're gonna go to the middle point between these two clips here and we're gonna make two cuts of 10 frames each. Now then we're gonna go to the first cut, the first clip which is 10 frames and we're gonna start creating our spin transition. So once we get into frame and fit and over to size and positioning, we're gonna go to the beginning of the clip and we're gonna create a keyframe. On the first keyframe, we're gonna change the rotation to minus 0.1. The next keyframe, we're gonna change to minus one. Then moving over to the third keyframe, we're gonna change the third keyframe to minus 3.1. The next one is minus seven. The next is minus 11.1, then we have a minus 21.2, and minus 35.5, minus 49.9, minus 72.4, and at the end we have a minus 96.3. Now, if you want to create this spin transition going to the left instead of the right, you can type in the exact same numbers, but then you go over to the plus side instead of the negative side. Now, after changing the rotation of all the keyframes, we can go out to the timeline and we can take a look at the first part of the transition. So now that we have the first part of the transition, we're gonna go on and we're gonna make the second part. Now to make this a little bit easier and to kind of have the same motion of the transition, we're gonna select the first part of the transition and we're gonna select copy and then we're gonna paste the keyframes over to the last part of the transition. Now, once this is pasted, we can go into edit and we're gonna move over to the last keyframe because this is our starting point. And once we have the last keyframe selected, we're gonna delete all the keyframes. Now, once we have the indicator on the last keyframe and the last keyframe is visible on the previous screen, deleting all the keyframes will then leave us with this position. Now, once all of the keyframes are deleted, we're gonna move to the beginning of the clip and make a new keyframe. Now for the first keyframe, we're gonna change the rotation to minus 131.6. For the second keyframe, minus 176.1. The next one, minus 223.9. Then minus 268.8. Minus 302.2. Minus 323.1 then minus 340.9, minus 352.9, minus 358, and as the last keyframe, we can choose minus 0.0, .0 or minus 360. Now, after changing the rotation of every keyframe on the last part of the transition, we can move out to the timeline. Doing a playback, we can see what the transition will look like. Now, once we take a look at the transition, we can see there is a lot of black background here, which we want to remove to make the transition look better. Now, there's two ways of doing this. So for the first one, I'm simply going to duplicate the layer here and uh, we're going to go into edit on the duplicated layer. Then we're going to go over to frame and fit. And for every single keyframe that we have here, we're going to scale up the image so it fills the entire preview screen. Now once this is done, we're gonna move over to the second part of the transition and do the exact same thing.
So after adjusting the scale of every keyframe, we will have a transition that looks like this. Now here you will have that typical zoom in spin transition, which is also looking pretty good. Now there is another way of doing this if you don't want to have that zoom in on your spin transition. So if we take the two layers, which we just zoomed in and place underneath the original clips, you can see that we have the original clip being centered in the frame here. So instead of having the black background, we now have the same image filling up the black spots of the transition. Now to begin with this looks a little bit rough but it will look better once we add some motion blur and do some adjustments. So the first adjustment we're gonna do is to go over to the clip which has the original size. And then we're gonna go over to cropping and we're gonna adjust the edge softness and the crop line left top right and bottom. We're also gonna make a keyframe at the beginning where we do all these changes because now we're in the second part of the transition. So that means we're gonna have the changes here at the beginning and then the changes is gonna go back to normal once we get to the end of the clip. So once we've done the adjustments to the beginning of the clip here, we're gonna go to the end, make a keyframe and reset all the parameters. Now after adjusting the cropping on the last part of the transition, we're gonna go to the beginning of the transition or to the last one depending on where you started. Going over to the first part of the transition now, we're gonna do the exact same thing. But for this one, we're gonna go to the beginning and we're gonna have everything as it is, no adjustments to the cropping. And then moving to the end of the clip, we're gonna add the adjustments to left, top, right and bottom and also the edge softness. Now after doing the adjustments, we can go out to the timeline here and we can take a look at the transition. So if we take a look at the image right here in the previous screen, you can see that we now covered up most of those rough parts around the edge of the image by using the feathered crop. Now once we're happy with the adjustments to the cropping, we can move over and add some motion blur. So we're gonna add the motion 20 and then we're gonna go a couple of frames into the clip here and make a keyframe. On this first keyframe, we're gonna have the radius on zero and at the last keyframe, we can change the radius to the amount of blur we want. So for this one, I'm gonna go with a radius of 15.63. The next step is to copy the motion blur effects and then we're gonna paste it on the clip underneath. So both the fill clip and the original clip has the same motion blur added. The next step is to repeat this process on the last part of the transition. And now that we added motion blur to the beginning and the end of the transition, we can go back out to the timeline and do a preview of our transition. The final step is to spice it up with some color correction or some LUTs. So this is from the Creators Collection LUT bundle. So if you have that, this will be the Creators Adventure 3 LUT. Or if you don't have it, you can check it out down in the description below. Now, once we added the LUT to the first part here, we're gonna just copy the color grading here and add it to the transition part. We're gonna do the same thing with the last clip. For this one, I'm gonna use the Creator's Adventure 4 LUT and just copy the color grading and apply it to the last part of the transition. Now, as a finishing touch, we're gonna add the cinematic bar and do a playback of the transition. Now, if you also own the camera shake bundle, we can add some additional shake to the beginning of the transition here or to the beginning of the uh, clip which is leading into the transition just to spice it up a tiny bit and you will have something that looks like this. So there you have another super simple and easy transition that you can create in Luma Fusion. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and let me know down in the comment section below if there's any other styles of transitions that you want to see here on this channel. So again, thanks for watching. Really hope that you enjoyed it. Like for the algorithm, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video.